What could be the potential consequences if Donald Trump returned to power? This intriguing question stirs the minds of many, especially considering the events of his previous term and his comments about dictatorship. In his previous term, Trump was guided by a circle of appointees who were independent of his political operation. They steered him away from ideas that would have pushed the limits of presidential power. This was evident in books they wrote and testimonies given to Congress. However, by the end of his term, most of these individuals had left. There is a growing concern that if Trump were to return, he might surround himself with loyalists unwilling to object to his decisions. Trump has recently raised eyebrows by proposing a legal theory that a president could do nearly anything with impunity, including assassinating political rivals, as long as Congress can't muster the votes to impeach him and throw him out of office. This audacious perspective has raised fresh questions about his intentions if he regains power. Anticipating Trump's possible return, a loose network of public interest groups and lawmakers are quietly devising plans to try to counter any efforts to expand presidential power, which could include pressuring the military to cater to his political needs. These groups are studying Trump's past actions and policy positions for 2024, preparing for the possibility of his victory in November. They are preparing for legal action and sending letters to Trump's appointees, spelling out the consequences they would face if they undermine constitutional norms. Mary McCord, executive director of the Institution for Constitutional Advocacy and Protection at Georgetown Law, shared that they are already assembling a team to think about the most damaging actions Trump might take, so they are ready to bring lawsuits if necessary. The aim of these efforts is to identify like-minded organizations and create a coalition to challenge Trump from day one. Participants are combing through policy papers being crafted for a future conservative administration. They are also watching interviews that Trump's allies are giving to the press for clues about how a Trump sequel would look. Organizations such as Democracy Forward, which took the Trump administration to court over a hundred times during his administration and Protect Democracy, an anti-authoritarian group, are among those taking part in these efforts. To summarize, the potential return of Trump to power is causing concern among many. His previous term comments about dictatorship and recent legal theory have stirred fears of a potential misuse of presidential power. However, efforts are being made to counter his actions with public interest groups and lawmakers devising plans and preparing for legal action. The aim is to protect constitutional norms and prevent the expansion of presidential power. It seems the stage is set for an intriguing political drama in the coming months.